Athletic Hub. I'm Steven. AP. Brandon. And uh, welcome to the new digs. New gear, new room. Brand new setup, man. Brand new setup. It's like Santa Claus came to town, huh? Santa? I don't know if I would say that. <laughs> 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 I was, I was calling you Santa. Here. I'll get there, dude. I'll get there. I'll get there. Santa Claus in almost September. Yeah. Yeah. Fantastic. <laughs> Good. I, uh, you know, it's, it's funny. I was, um, my grandfather went to the went to the grocery store and he said something about you know back in the day there were a hundred thousand dollar bars and now they're a hundred grand bars i was like i don't even know what that means <laughs> i still don't know what that means <laughs> they, well they changed the name of the candy bar it's just oh, like, with, I gotcha. like, <laughs> it, but it was just, it's the same candy bar i never knew it was any different the rebrand hey the yeah re-brand. i got you i like that yeah yeah we, Great story. Uh, <laughs> I mean, I could have went with the Patriots, or you know, no, they, no they Boston. No, 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 we, we no Boston talk. Thank uh, you. No talk. Well, I'm going to lose ours every once in a while, anyways. Um, but we just rebranded something recently, didn't we? Yes, sir. Yeah. Sure is. BIM 360 team, right? Formerly A 360 team. That is correct. Yeah, yeah. we've uh, we've gone ahead and done a rebrand, but it's a little bit more than a rebrand. It's actually sort of an expansion of some of the great features that A 360s always had. Um, but really, we're starting to contour the message towards our architectural engineering community mm-hmm. while providing our general contractors an opportunity to access data in a much more meaningful way. That's, uh, that's pretty slick, being a former part of a former general contracting company, being able to access models in the field or even just plans out in the field is paramount. Definitely. How many times I spent at a print shop just printing out paper, sheets of paper because... Someone spilled coffee. They got buried in. The, oh yeah. They got buried in the uh, drain hole. Definitely. Whatever. Yeah. <laughs> sure. Real, realistically, you need it at your fingertips, no matter where you're at, and that's something A360 team formerly always did very well. BIM 360 Absolutely. team continues to do that. I mean, I think, especially when you're design iteration phase for me, right? When you're progressing forward, you need provide insight to people that maybe don't have Revit or don't have AutoCAD. Still need to see the document set. Still need to see that data. I think that's a great point. I mean. When you think of the teams that are involved in most projects, it's a rarity that everyone even has a seat of Revit, let alone yeah. has the ability to know yeah. how, to, how to use that tool. Definitely. And what BIM 360 team really allows us to do is, regardless of whether or not it was done in a product like Revit or something as you know, simplistic as uh, Revit or AutoCAD Lite, um, mm-hmm. this application allows us to view that data and create red lines, create quick markups. Um, even more so than that, we have the ability to extend the visibility of the model to an owner. Um, I have a great example where someone actually leveraged this with a PTA group um, to show the expansion of of um, an educational facility uh, for a future Latchkey Center. And uh, they actually were able to do all their design iterations, post it onto a a web URL, and let everybody take a look at it and and really get a feel for what it was going to look like long term. So really increasing visibility of, of your data. Yeah, I think that's exactly it. You get a instant visualization right away. Exactly. Hand in hand. So. Exactly. Yeah. But that's it, great. You know that, that that's awesome. When I was designing houses, it was all in two D. It was early two thousands, and a lot of our customers couldn't understand what this was going to look like. And right. Now we're doing it in Revit. You're still providing two D deliverables, but now you're able to take that three D model and show it to the owner. Oh, this is what the kitchen is going to look like. Totally. Here's, here's a camera view and. Here, take a look at it in your own home, in your own office. Don't need to bother coming all the way across town, cross country, wherever. Yep. I think that's key. I mean, without without that, how do, how do we still do it? We'd still be doing it the same way that we've been doing it for the last 20, 30 years. Well, yeah, right. Sharing PDF sets, emailing them around. But this, this structure basically does exactly that. It provides a central structure for all the project data. So it's, it's everybody working in one location. It's, again, that level of insight to any data type that you can house there. So, so it sounds like it's more of a change from just changing the name of the candy bar to maybe adding in a little bit more caramel to it. <laughs> hey oh. Great references, man. <laughs> <laughs> you can tell I haven't eaten in a while. I'm a hungry. <laughs> I think one awesome. of the things that's, that's also worth pointing out is that there's lots of solutions out there that can view a 3D model, that can view 2D sheets. Um, you'd even make, you could even make the argument there are tools that are um, – you know, superior when it comes to certain aspects of that visibility. But sure. all of those tools have sort of one fatal flaw, and that's that you have to export that data to a PDF, to a document, to whatever. Right. Right. That's crucial. It's important. At some point in the project, you're going to have to do that in a lot of cases. Yep. But when you're going through those initial design iterations, you want a tool that's going to allow you to seamlessly interact with your design staff. 
And what BIM 360 team allows us to do is leverage those uh, those groups that take advantage of a product called Collaboration for Revit. Totally. They can instantly save their models and give access to PMs, supers, um, designers, whoever might want to access that information instantly. There's no uh, lag time. There's no need to uh, wait till the 11th hour to hit the print button. <laughs> totally. Um, and many of us know there's there's uh, there's limitations with what we can get in a PDF, right? And what's what's really great about this product is that these are intelligent 2D visibles. So when I select on a door in BIM 360 Team, it's not it's not just line work. It's an actual door. Right? Yeah. I can see awesome. who the see manufacturer object. exactly. Yep. And I think that's the thing that you know, as an industry, we always want BIM, right? We want this intelligent information. And for a lot of people, that I the I in BIM is, is only important or only relevant if you know how to use Revit. Yeah. And I, I would say this is probably the first time that we've allowed customers that, that, again, don't know how to use the product to take advantage of that information in a much more uh, immersive way. Yeah, I think I think you nailed it with the owner comparison or point. That's always been a hurdle. I know that was a hurdle for me in industry was always sharing that information, sharing that insight. Um, and again, like with collaboration for Revit, right? You can publish straight to a BIM 360 team. Right. Provides right. that right in-house service. So you're not going through that PDF publish and then upload, download, whatever cadence. It's direct. It yeah. makes it a lot a lot more accessible. So That's, it, it's amazing. It, when you talk about the I in BIM, the way that I look at BIM is it's only as good as what you, the information you put in. Mm -hmm. So we're so used to, on the other side, just looking at this, at this line work, where I think it's a complete transformation to, instead of looking at line work, you're actually looking at an object. You're just looking yeah. at it from a top view. Right. Yeah. 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 Right. Yeah. I think that's a great point. And like you said, you know, you can add as much content, theoretically, to those Revit families as necessary. So you can really make a document set extremely data rich. Exactly. So. Yeah. Um, you guys want to take a look at it? I yeah, let's take a look. Yeah, please. Uh, the, the first thing I'll tell you, and, and obviously for your um, for your listeners as well, is that uh, you can go today to Autodesk BIM 360 team, and you can start a trial. Um, to go in and start playing around with this tool right now, uh, all you need to do is obviously fill out the information and upload a file. Um, instantly, you guys can start sharing and start using it. Mm -hmm. uh, again, just access the BIM 360 team website. Um, once you're in, uh, really, really uh, familiar experience for those people that were using uh, A360 up until, until recently. Um, for those new to it, uh, really a clean, slick interface. So I'm going to go ahead and open up the site. Now, when you, uh, when you navigate into this software, um, a lot of really great features at the bottom. You're going to notice things like, for instance, the ability to zoom, rotate, pan. Um, you're going to also notice the ability to not only use those zoom and pan features that are obviously most common to a lot of these tools out there, but you're also going to have that ability to navigate between 2D and 3D information. Mm -hmm. So for us, what that means is not just being able to, again, view that 3D model, but interact with those 2D sheets. Mm -hmm. Now, what I, what I really like about the 2D sheet aspect of it is that when you load these sheets, um, these didn't come from an import or they didn't come from some sort of export system. Literally, when the design team, the architect, the engineer, whoever hit the save button, not only did the model find its way here, but all of the working sheets did as well. Right. So instantly have that information, yep. instantly. Right. Like I said, when you select on these components, it's not just selecting on these singular objects, it's also giving you the property sets for them. Right. And I, I actually think this interface looks slicker than Revit. Like I think from mm -hmm. a, like yeah. just from a usability perspective, it's really clean. It's fresh, right? Like, agreed, yeah. yeah, really solid. Especially yeah. when the, the dialog boxes pop in and pop out of view, they're not just getting stuck getting stuck there like your properties palette it has to be glued somewhere yeah or you're right. not getting any of that information have more flexibility to kind of move around as needed yeah absolutely so. what's also nice about this is that the objects are intelligent and to some degree they're hyperlinked to one another so if i click a door in a floor plan and on that same sheet i have a referenceable view like for instance of a staircase mm -hmm. you'll notice right here i'm selecting the staircase and it's actually selecting the plan view of it as well mm -hmm. so when i click you know corresponding objects, I'm getting that additional information. I'm getting all of that right, data. Right, right. They're also going to have very simple features, like, for instance, the ability to add quick comments. So you go ahead and select comment locations. You could do things like, for instance, add red line markups. Right. And these are really robust, a robust set of features. Um, everything from you know, changing the color and the line thickness to rotating between you know, different types of polygons and 
um, and cloud. So you've got all those those great tools for yourself right there. I can see that being really helpful, especially when you're selecting an object and it's actually understanding where else it is. Oh yeah, definitely. In the entire environment. What I also like about this, when you talk about the team environment, right? When you make markups, when you add comments to it, you can actually direct it to a specific user. Exactly. You basically, just start tapping the at symbol to type in their name. Exactly. Hyperlinks recognizes them as an association to that project. That way, you're dictating a comment directly to someone you're trying to convey it to. Yeah, I think that's that's well said. Yeah. Um, the other thing that I think is important to bring up with any of these tools, and maybe the finishing note on this. Um, is that all of this extends to your mobile interface as well. Mm -hmm. So not only awesome. can I do it right here on my desktop, but I can go out into the field and leverage the same information. And, and a feature that has to be mentioned when we talk about going into the field is that all of this can be brought onto your um, iOS device uh, in a download format. So even if you don't have a Wi-Fi connection, you can leverage the information. Right, not locked out. Exactly. Right. That, and there's just another way. You don't have to go out into a... Uh, I'm looking at a building right behind us. You don't have to go up to the tenth floor holding a tree trunk of plants. Yeah, right. You just take your iPad or your iPhone. Right. And you got it all yeah. at your fingertips. And somehow you're always missing that sheet you need too. Yeah, I don't know how that works. But <laughs> exactly. Uh, you know what? That's the one that got buried in the trench. It's crazy. That was outside. Detail. You it out of your truck. Where's that detail? Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Yep. Awesome. Well, uh, listen. Thanks for coming by. Of course. I appreciate it. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time. Absolutely.